Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 10, is it, of uh, Species, season 2. Pretty cool. We tried some pretty fail things last time. This time I, th I think we're just gonna try to get as far as possible. I'm gonna raise the sea levels a bit. Actually no, we'll, we'll let it run so that we can see our population spread uh, to the rest of the continents maybe. Uh, and then I'll raise the sea levels and the temperatures. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I love watching these migrations, you know big groups just deciding to cross over. I don't understand how so many just decide to go as a group. Are there even like social f flocks in the game in some way? Oh look at all the little lizards, pretty cool. Oh, scales everywhere. Does that have to do with the uh, mutation we did or is it the temperature that's actually favoring scales? Hmm. Oh, they're swimming over. They're trying to get across. They're out of food. They might die on the way, though. I think this is way too large of a, a crossing for them. Oh, these ones might make it. This is uh, momentous. I decided to actually move some specimens over because uh, this crossing was just way too much for them. Yes, we have different colors going. Some yellows there. Still whites, but uh, yeah, it seems. Oh, we only have one left. Oh, yeah, life is only only surviving here, or the animal kingdom is only surviving in the south uh, eastern corner. Look at the swarm! I moved in like three specimens, and they're just just swarming. They they go like at where the food is, so they'll follow the coast here, and then eventually they'll run out of food. Or they might turn back, I don't know how that will work, but they will reach a uh, population maximum soon enough. The one colonizer. Come on, man. Oh, children. Good, good. Come on. Cross, cross, cross. Oh, yes, we did it. I'm actually really liking the big map some somewhat. Uh, of course, I don't have, you know, oversight over everything all the time. But it's pretty cool with all these islands and then just uh, seeing their, the, the different species just progress and evolve as they move along the line. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get a crossing over here and maybe over here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. We might have to force that crossing, however. Ooh, apparently this area here under the ocean is really hot. That's pretty cool. Got some uh, steam rising there. Of all, of the entire population, like there were a few that crossed over here. There was a population boom. They ate everything around here. Some made it to the north side. There was a huge population boom of like about uh, maybe 150 here, and now we've only got three specimens left, uh, which is <laughs> kind of unfortunate. But I'll um, I'll see if they survive, and then I'll try to maybe push them over to the west side of this uh, island. No, they're all dead. Oh, these are looking pretty cool. Look at this one. Uh, huge hind legs. Um, nice torso. Is that some carryover gene from our previous genetic mutation thing? Or is it just a co because they need those legs in this environment? I think it's just a coincidence. So I've moved over a couple of specimens to this continent here, and then I've moved one over to this beach area, um, and hopefully it survives. Big and beautiful, look at that. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I hope they grow even taller uh, so that they can reach to the trees and eat, or something like that. You know, I hadn't noticed something until now, uh, and that is that the the sand here became like grasslands because we've got animals here uh, and they are probably I don't know how they programmed this but you know um, they're creating the fertilizer they're moving around the seeds and so or the yeah the grass species and so this area is becoming uh, feeding ground for them which is great so they made it over by themselves from here to here. Of course, I've, I've been resuscitating a lot of them, but uh, yeah, from now on, I think they can 
they can handle this themselves, right? Uh, on the rest of the map, however, we these ones died out and this group died out, so we've only have we only have these and then these uh, two populations here, which means our clay diagram is very thin at the moment. Uh, but we've uh, gotten very far actually in terms of clay diagram size, so congratulations on all of us for that. Uh, now let me just choose the cursor. Let me choose the cursor. God damn it. There. No? There. So I kind of started off a boom here. Um, moved over one of uh, these yellow guys. They're all green now, which is pretty cool. Uh, to this southern island, and then they've moved on to flock here, where there was a lot of food. Their population might die out, though, because, uh, yeah, there's they ate all the food. Uh, then I moved another one up north to this island, and uh, they're currently having a little boom here. Hopefully this time uh, their group will survive. It seems like some of them are taking themselves over here, which is good. I'm hoping that they can also eat the s smaller trees, uh, or that they develop that capability. And over here, they're all just stuck on this island, and there hasn't really been much uh, evolutionary progress. Like compared to the other ones, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Considering that this southern part has died out here, I think I'm gonna move one over maybe to the eastern part of the, uh, or sorry, western part of the uh, continent here. And maybe one over there. We'll see. Actually, let's do it right now. Uh, there, you. You're aggressive. Go die. That's that's not the that was the northern part. Let's screw it. Then we're gonna have one here and another one over here and uh, one final one on the on this place here. Oh hey, we're already six hours into the si simulation. That's uh. Pretty good progress there, and now we're not having a lot of uh, diversification here. Maybe we should lower the sea levels and let them spread, or I should just, you know, force them to. Oh wait, no, no, it's going good. Okay, it's doomed though because it's uh, just that boom that's gonna lead them into a cycle of uh, not having any food, kind of Easter Island style. Okay, I'm rather annoyed at these creatures here, because they're not spreading at all, like... You could have moved... Okay, yeah, there's no pressure to move, but... Whatever. I'm gonna make them move. They're gonna spread... Their genes. Yeah, we're having another one of those boom cycles here. Uh, however, one of our... Uh, tr uh, offspring, or trees from this one... Died off in the south there. It was this, this group, or wait, was it? No, it was this, this group here. These ones, however, where were they? I think they were in the north here, or the east. Yeah, our populations aren't very healthy. It took I've been spent the last uh, 15 minutes trying to make this population survive, spread them out over three areas here. Um, don't know if that's gonna work though. And these ones, don't know. These ones are gonna stay stable, I think. They've been around for a long time. Um, but I just want there to be more. Uh, and I think the solution would be to lower sea levels, but then I'm afraid that I'll change the environment too much on the coastlines where uh, this population survives. So, I'm not sure. There, I've spread the green ones to a little bit m more, like, places. We've gone over here, here, here. These ones have spread naturally, and I'm spreading this one back onto this island here. Hopefully this time they'll stay around. Um, but I... Yeah, there's always this weird population boom because of the excessive amounts of food. And then they just die off. But uh, maybe, if we're lucky, we'll have a stable population as we have on this coastline here. Yeah, nothing of this is working really. Um, I mean, kind of. Uh, over here we still have two. They might survive. We might get stable populations, but I'm, I'm not sure. Moved over another 
another specimen over to this continent here because they had died out here so um, hopefully this one will settle down since there there isn't a population boom or wait am I on the wrong continent oh yes I might be oh well, oh this one also died out too bad we've got to find a solution to to all of these problems um, not sure though I think definitely lowering this sea level um, or lake level as because I'm on the lake map technically uh, but yeah this this group is doing well for itself at least and that's good but that's because they have like an excess of food and they somehow just got into a balance there it might I think all these population booms or Malthusian catastrophes also have to do with the uh, forest density and the growth rate that I put um, they're pretty high. I, I did lower them at, in the beginning again because I noticed it was just too much. But perhaps we should uh, take it down even further. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good po to point to end our 10th episode at. Uh, as always, you know the drill. If we get to 100 likes, I will release the next episode before the schedule date. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, of course, just subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys and girls later. Farewell.